What, what was that? Who wanted to know how to fold an origami bull? Come at the right place. Let's get going. But hold up. 96% of you watching aren't subscribed. What's that about? Let's fix it. Now we can get started. Okay, step one to fold this origami bowl. Just as always, you're going to turn your paper into a square if it's not already. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Alright, now you're going to fold your paper in half from side to side. Now you're going to open up the model and fold each of these halves in half again. Alright, so now you've got this, you're going to fold along this point here and you're going to fold until the corner matches up with this edge. And you only have to fold it up to this point here. Because now you're going to fold backwards on this crease that you've just made. And now you're going to squash the model down and crease from here to this point at the top. Alright, now you're up to here, you're going to take this little triangular flap and you're just going to fold it to the left. And after that, you're going to fold it back on itself to match up with this line here. Alright, and now you're going to unfold the model and do the same on this side of the paper. Alright, and now you're going to do the same on the bottom, but now you're going to make the section that you folded here just a little bit longer and you're going to do that by matching up to the point here with this point here. And then again, you're going to take your triangular flap and fold it to the side. And then fold it back on itself to meet up with that line. And then you should have a little gap here. And now copy on the other side. Alright, now you're just going to take this paper and mount and fold in half. And now you're going to value fold this side and on this side. There we go. So that was just folding like this. Now you're going to take each of these corners where you've got these creases and you're just going to inside reverse fold on each crease. So then we do that again, just going to take each of these corners and inside reverse fold. And now take this triangle at the top and inside reverse fold again using the line that we very conveniently have right here. And then one more time using the line that we made to inside reverse fold. And then I'm going to show you on this side, so we just open the model up, push inside, open it up again, push it inside, and open it up one more time, push it up, and then squash the model down. Now I'm just going to repeat on the other side. Now you're going to open up the model like this, and you're going to have the short side on the right hand side and just value fold from right to left along the middle. Now you're going to come to this point at the bottom right here. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, 
gonna take all these points and hold up to meet this point and then you're gonna unfold and just take the top layer and fold it up to meet the crease that you have just made so that was a crease we just made and now I'm gonna fold up to meet it like this all right so we should have two creases one and then two now we're gonna take this triangle here and we're gonna fold it up to meet this new line that we just made the upper line Okay, so now that you're up to here, you are going to unfold, you are going to turn the paper over and just reverse the folds. So first of all, you're going to fold along here from right to left. And then fold along the second crease. So we have this, now we have this. Now you're going to turn the paper over turn it so that the larger section is facing the top and now you're gonna take this flap right here and you're just gonna fold it down just to sort of make a reference point here so just here just a little a little pinch just so that you've got a little marker there and now you're gonna do the same on this side just as a reference and now where the two meet you're gonna fold the triangle down along that point there. Just as a little marker. Like this. Now you're gonna take the top flap here and you're just gonna fold it down as much as it folds down. And then again, just to make a little marker, a little crease right here. So now you've got two points, one and two. Now you're gonna fold from top to bottom so that this point meets this point so they are in line so like so so now you have this and then you're going to take the flaps on the left and right and fold both of them just straight upwards as far as they go like this now you're going to take this triangle on the bottom and fold it up to match them. Okay, now you're going to turn the paper so that's facing this way, so the small triangle is to the left. And now you're going to take this front section here and you're just going to open it up like this. And then squash this point that's sticking up, just squash it so that it goes down like this. You'll probably need to play around a bit with this. And then we're going to keep pushing it down along this crease here. We're just going to keep squashing down like this. And there you go, you're just going to fold this to the right now. Now you're going to turn the paper and fold this line inwards to meet the middle. But don't go all the way to the middle, just enough so that this corner up here squashes down. So you're just going to adjust that until it lines up with this bottom crease, this bottom line right here. So until they line up, you're just going to keep adjusting until you have this. Now you're going to copy on the other side.
So by this point, you should have something that looks like this. Now you're gonna repeat that process on this layer now. So you're gonna fold across and squash this triangle in. So you're just gonna squash this inwards. Like so. So it used to be like this. And then you've taken the flap, taken it to the left and squashed the triangle down. Now you're just gonna copy with the other side. Now we're gonna focus on these two flaps here. So on the right hand side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the flap downwards like this. So we've mashed this point here to this corner. And now we're gonna open up the model and fold along that crease and downwards. And now repeat on the other side. I'm just going to make it a little bit more symmetrical. And now what you're going to do is turn it this way so that all the complicated folds are facing the right and fold in half down like this. Now we're going to take this top flap here and fold it up. This is going to create again a sort of marking line, a marking crease right here as you can see. And now you're going to take the flap afterwards, the sort of layer beneath that, and you're going to do the same there. So you're going to fold, you're going to fold down here to create a sort of marking point. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now you're going to open up the paper like this, and you're just going to take this section, this section right here, and fold it in half this way. So we're just gonna fold in half like this. And then once that flap is folded inwards, we're just gonna fold in half again like this. Now you should see it's got a bit of an angle to it. I'm just gonna flatten that out. And there you go, you should be left with this. Now you're gonna turn it so that it's like this and make sure that these three flaps are being held together and you are going to open up this middle and just push it inwards. along this point up here. Oop. Make sure it doesn't fly off the table. And then fold along this. There we go. Now we're gonna come with this flap at the back and we're going to just open it up like this and we're going to take it and flatten it along this point here so you're following this point and you're just going to flatten it until until let's say until this line here matches with this line here maybe a bit further out actually because another general point is that you want to keep it kind of in line with this point right here so kind of parallel all right that's looking good now we're going to go on the other side and copy this reference that we made with the other leg so it should be quite a bit easier so we're just going to open it up and flatten it down 
Now we're going to open up the underside of the model so that everything should look like this. I'm going to take one of these sides, right? And then we're going to take this section right here. We're going to fold this up out of the way so that we can fold this entire section downwards. So we're just going to fold the whole thing downwards up to about about here. That looks good. Yeah, you don't need any specific points for this. Just fold up to about there. Like that. So you used to have this and now you have this. And then copy on the other side. And now if you close it up, you should see the body looks a lot thinner. Now we're going to turn it over and focus on this, this flap here. So what you're going to do with this flap is just fold it behind the leg. So just out of the way, behind. And if you turn it over to have a look at where you're folding it, you might want to just fold it even further. Like this, so that you know it's definitely out of the way. Yeah, so it used to be folded up like this. Now we're just folding it down and then repeat on the other side. And now you should have this. Now you're gonna go from this point here down to this point here and you're just gonna fold this flap backwards. And once you fold it backwards, you want to tuck it in behind this layer. There you go, that's just to thin the legs out. And now repeat on the other side. Now we have this. Now we're going to come to the back legs here, and we are just going to uh, choose a point on this leg to fold onto diagonally from this point on the left and now that you have a fold here up to a certain point you're gonna fold from this point matching with the bottom line to the same point like so and you're just gonna pinch the leg to make it thinner and fold it behind like this so the legs used to be folded out like this you chose a point along this line right there you fold the crease you fold another crease pinch move behind to the left and then repeat on the other side and you use the back leg as a reference point from the same Isn't this ASMR right here of the paper crinkling? And there we go. Now you're going to come to the front right here where the head is going to be, and you're just going to put your thumb here, put your nail right here, and take this first flap, this top flap, and fold it behind like this as far as it'll go. Because as you can see right here, there's a limit to how far you can fold it backwards. like this and then repeat on the other side now you are gonna take this flap and fold it forwards again and there's no specific reference point again so around there should be fine and then you're going to go to the other side and copy that. And now it should look like this. Now you're going to come up to the front here and you're going to open it up. And then you're going to fold it downwards and then create two diagonal creases here and here. And again, this is just some rough 
reference points. You don't need to be exact with these. So like there maybe. And then you're gonna fold from the bottom upwards to about there. So again, all of this doesn't have any specific reference points. Now you're gonna fold back downwards, leaving as much space or as little space as you want to. That is looking good. And then you're gonna come to the other side here and take this flap and fold it down. Okay, so once you fold this down, you have the head of the bowl. Okay, now you've got this, you can make it a bit more 3D by taking this and then just folding about, about there-ish, about there, and then about there. So it should look like this. Like that. And now you're gonna take one of these horns here and then you're gonna just squash this point in with. So you're gonna fold it in half like this. Fold it in half until you make a point right here and now you're gonna fold it upwards like that so i'm just gonna adjust that a little bit and there we go and now you're gonna repeat on the other side again using the one behind it as a reference point There we go. Now we're gonna take these little flaps here and just fold them backwards just a little bit. And these are gonna become the ears. Like that. And like that. So now you should have two ears. And now you're gonna come back to the front here where you made these two creases before. I'm just going to fold them like this and then on the other side too. There we go. And now we're gonna go back to reshaping the structure of the head using those two lines, one on either side. And you should now have something that looks like this. All right, now we're gonna go to these back legs here and we're just gonna fold them backwards, down, like this. So they were facing this way, I've just folded them backwards this way. And I'm just going to repeat on the other side. Like this. Now we're going to fold the bottom of the legs, otherwise known as the feet. Don't know why I said that. And then all we're going to do is just open it up. Uh, actually, let's open it up from the back. So open up the legs from the back and just sort of fan it out would help if I was in frame. So we're just gonna open these up, pinch and fan them out and just push it down. So push down like that and then fold so that they are facing the front. Like that. And then we're gonna copy with the other leg. Like this so now we have two feet one of them is a lot wider than the other so I'll just spread this out a bit more and there we go now we have two feet like 
this and now we're just going to copy at the front so we're going to sort of pinch it and then fan out fan out and then sort of press it down so that it faces the front and then close it and again oh this flap keeps coming out there we go and now we're going to do the same on this side okay so now we have two feet facing the front like this and now all four feet should be looking like this okay and now we're gonna take this section right here and fold this flap like this and then just open up and do a little inside reverse fold to hide that flap like that so it was like this and now we just pushed it inside I'm going to go back and repeat. And now for the tail, you can do whatever you want. You can like twist it round and then at the end do the same thing that we did with the feet. So you can just like fan it out and then pinch and sort of push it inwards like that. You can just twist it round if you want. You can fold it up a bit. There we go. And then we're going to go to the front with the horns and then we are going to curl them round. So first of all, we're going to curl inwards and then curl outwards. And I'm just going to make that look a bit better. Maybe I've got a pencil here. I could actually use that. There we go, and then just copy on this horn. Okay, so now you have the horns curled, and then you can just do some general structure and some 3D shaping. So you can go up here and squash down like we did with the bear in the last tutorial. And then you could sort of curve the legs a little bit. And curve the back leg and then take the bottom line here and just curve these inwards a little bit and if I just push this back down and there you have it you have your own origami bowl looks very cool very epic and uh, yeah Really hope you enjoyed. If there's anything I can do to make this tutorial better, then please do let me know. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next video.